I think it's safe to say you've played a GTA game before. Hell, Grand Theft Auto V is the second best-selling video game of all time, and it came out almost 10 years ago. But there's something special about the third installment's trilogy, a loosely connected rags-to-riches story taking place in fictional versions of American cities, a lot more Arcadian presentation, and an homage to older crime films. My favorite being San Andreas. It's my all-time favorite video game, and it would be a shame if I never talked about it. And no, I'm not talking about the definitive version, don't buy this crap, find another way to play them because they removed the originals on Steam. I'm one of the lucky ones who still has this in my library, and this time I'm fully completing it. So, I 100%ed Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. The year is 1992. We get a phone call from our brother. Call is sweet. What's up, sweet? What you want? It's mama. She's dead, bro. So it's a plane ticket to our hometown of Los Santos. But our taxi is pulled over by the crash trio. No, not that crash, but the community resources against street hoodlums. Jimmy Hernandez, Eddie Pulaski, and Frank Tenpenny. You haven't forgotten about us, have you, boy? Hey, wait, that's Samuel L. Jackson. You work fast, nigga. Whoa, whoa, hey. How you expect me to put this on YouTube if you're saying stuff like that? What, are we on an airplane or something? And don't think I'm going to skip over what you said about my people, Pulaski. Stupid Mexican. Okay, let's run it back and see if I can't fix this cutscene. Officer Pendlebear, a fine man, I might add. You work fast, nigga. Ah, shit. Here we go again. Dumped in the alleyway with nothing but a bike, we ride to Grove Street and enter our mom's house. Oh, the memories that we don't know of. I gotta sit down. This is a lot to take in. You picked the wrong house, fool! Hey, hey! Melvin Harris, or as you might know him, Big Smoke. He's a good friend. He's taking us to the cemetery to see our mom. A cold reception, and as we're leaving, we're caught in a drive-by, and with Smoke's car destroyed, we have no choice but to ride these conveniently placed bicycles for the four of us, and it's back to the Grove. Things here are real fucked up, so I'm gonna look fucked up too. Sweet tells us the neighboring families have split, and we'll drive by Ryder's place, Lance Wilson. A local pizza place keeps, ahem, <clears throat> painting over our head up, so let's teach him a lesson, but first I need a haircut. Man, what's this? Shit look ridiculous. Shut up, Ryder, I look amazing. How about you stop going <laughs> fake smoke in that joint? Oh, what's that? <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. <sighs> Whatever, I'm gonna buy a meal from here. Ryder tries to stick out the place, but this piece of parlor is no pushover, except for when I run him over. Sweet and Smoke are playing basketball, and our brother's got a job for us. We're tagging up turf. There's a hundred around Los Santos, but for right now, I'm just gonna grab a few and get out of here. The Grove's got a crack problem, so we'll see old friends beat up and Big Bear. Don't worry, I don't know who they are either. But they're, um, preoccupied. So I guess we're on our own, and I'll take out some crack dealers. The group's hungry, so we're gonna go for a ride. And Ryder tells us that our moms was shot by someone driving a green saber. Yeah, but people like to talk, don't they? What do you mean by that? Okay, we're here. Meme time. Another fucking drive-by, and Smoke stop eating the fucking food and shoot them! I ain't stuffing, homie. I'm enjoying my meal. Ugh. Whatever, Smoke moved out of the grove, so his spot is further up. Hmm, I could use a gun. So Smoke and I take off to see a man named Emmett. It's just another tutorial mission. Well, isn't all of Los Santos a tutorial? I got new clothes, by the way. And I think I've had enough with these drive-bys, so it's time to do some of our own. With the cops on us, we can go to this pay and spray. It changes the car's color and removes our wanted level, which Michael Jackson should have totally tried. A little while later, our brother gives us a call. He's pinned down in Seville Hood, and we gotta rescue him. So rescue him. Duh. Uh, did I say this is Kendall? This is our sister, Kendall, and she's dating a Mexican. Being a Mexican myself, I can tell you that this is quite epic. Leroy Hernandez? That don't sound His good, girl. His name ain't Hernandez. Well, Leroy Lopez, Or Lopez, then. either, you racist fuck. What about Leroy Short and Lazy? Shut up, Carl. Okay. So our job is to follow our sister to a lowrider competition? I don't know. Fuck. Maybe I'm not Mexican. It's basically the simplest rhythm game you've ever played. Kendall is impressed, and we can finally meet her boyfriend, Caesar. Oh, no. Uh, Caesar Felipe. Speaking of mindless bastards, and no, I don't mean me, Jeffrey, or as he calls himself now, OG Loke, is released from prison, and we're gonna go pick him up. And fuck, is he so annoying? It's OG Loke, homie! OG Loke! We'll drop him off at his house, and apparently he was a little bit of a fruit salad in jail, so let's kill his locked up boy toy. <laughs> was you lonely, Loke? Hey. I like a nice mustache myself. Loke's forced to work a burger joint in the city, so we'll drop him off there. And back at the Grove, Ryder's got a job for us. We're stealing from a confederate, so really this evil crime is more like a modern day Robin Hood. Crash is back, and they need us to yoink some boxes on a train. I'll also become forklift certified as we're robbing Uncle Sam. And man, is Big Smoke a lyrical miracle genius when he's dropping shit like this. Coffee, yo. Up El Wido. 
before I blow your brains out all over the patio. Is it racist? Probably, but I'm laughing. I'm also just gonna kill the guy. Another me mission. All we had to do was follow the damn train, CJ. So I don't know if this mission is hard or anything, but here's my little tip. If you ride along the outside of this right side rail, it's a perfect distance for Big Smoke to shoot, and you should be able to kill all four by the time you make it to this tunnel. Russian cats with nothing to lose about the bust of <laughs> Topical. Russians. We don't know why, but we're killing Russians, and they are pissed. On a bike for a rail shooter, then we get away. Caesar's a bit of a race junkie, so we'll join him for a race, which was really easy. I don't see any racer anywhere. But while we're in town, let's talk to Loke, and look at the dude! OG Loke, more like Janita. Anyway, he wants a sound station, so we'll drive down to the beach and more simple rhythm game. We'll store the vehicle away. And I'ma kick a little something like this. Hey yo, when I come through, open the place. You don't want me to come with a gun in your face. I spit it hotter than anybody in the yo, world could do. That it's shit like I sucks. Agreed. Obviously, Jeffrey needs some better material, so it's off to Mad Dog's mansion in the hills. We got self elements, baby. Look, I'm slitting his throat, and I can hide in the dark, and they can't see me. Hey, it's in the game. Don't look at me. I'll steal Mad Dog's rhyme book, and Loke also wants his manager dead. So we'll steal one of his driver's cars and drown him off this pier. One more test at this guy, I swear. He's throwing a party at the Grove, but why listen to him when you could just not? Well, let's try to ambush us, but we have auto aim. Grove is king, and of course we're at a donut shop to see Crash. They own us, which is kind of kinky, but man, do I hate cops. Especially when they tell me to burn down this house. There's a woman trapped inside, so I guess it's pizza time. And whoa, okay, she's into me. Write that one down, incels. Burn down her house and she'll fall in love with you. Yeah, I literally never talked to her after this. Sigma grind set. Welcome to the gang war mechanic. It's three waves of attacking Ballas or Vagos, then the territory is yours. But for the time being, I don't care. Ten pennies after the Russians too, it seems. So while they're making a deal, I'm gonna crash the party and kill the arms dealer. Uh, apparently while I was doing that, Tenpenny came to Sui and told him a bunch of ballists are gonna be at a cemetery. So we're about to crash that too. Ah, yes, you can totally tell that he's wearing body armor. It does take a lot to bring him down. And a meeting of the Grove Street families to reunite is ambushed by SWAT teams. Smoke and Ryder are absolutely ready to dip. But Sui's still in the motel, and we're not gonna leave him behind. Rack up your cop kill streak, and if you're hurt, go kiss a hoe. I guess Smoke and Ryder aren't leaving us for dead. Time to shoot the cops on a drive around the city until our AK jams and we have no choice but to drive forward. Oh, shit, the price is out. Yeah, no, we're okay. And no rush, guys. Let's split, but only do it real slow-like. All our transgressions have inspired Sweet to take some action against the Ballas. But I get a phone call from Caesar who needs us to see something. This better be good. So, some ballers hanging around a dope spot. So what? Just watch, homie. What the fuck? Shit, Smoke, what you into? Shh, that's it. Look at that ride. That's the motherfucking green saber. Crash making you sell us out? Moms! Ryder and Smoke betrayed us. We don't know if they were the ones that killed our mom. They sure as hell were involved. But there's no time to process this as we make our way under the freeway. Sweet's been hit. Even if this is a trap, we're not leaving our brother. Sirens blast as the cops arrive. There's nowhere to go. It's over. Or at least it should be. You got a bag over your head, boy. How you feel about that? Man, take it off! Please, man! I can't breathe! Please! Oh, all right. But only because you said please. Tenpenny's not done with us. I'm very dependable, after all. And we're in the middle of bumfuck nowhere. Sweet's alive, but in jail. No word from Caesar or Kendall. And our job is to kill a man who knows too much about Crash and their corruption. He just so happens to be all the way up this mountain. And when he's dead, snap a picture of him for proof. We get a phone call from Caesar. Kendall's all right, and she's coming to the country with us. But while we wait, Caesar has a cousin that might have some jobs for us to make some money. And my, oh my, is she a fucking catch. Whatever, asshole, let's go. Damn, relax, baby. Catalina's her name, and she's got four stores she wants to rob. The first is this gas station. We can't rob the clerks, but we can steal the tanker. And just as we thought we could make some more money, there's a phone call from the one and only Truth. Ten pennies getting baked, and this hippie needs a combine harvester, which shouldn't be too hard. Oh. Great. There's like 50 of them all with guns, and it's rough if you don't grab this thing fast. It is satisfying to turn them into little bacon bits, though. Caesar and Kendall made it to our... house? But we don't got the money still, so it's back to Catalina, who honestly wants to kill me. Or fuck me. I don't know. Just as we arrive to the liquor store, it looks like people already beat us to it. So we'll chase him down while Catalina shoots. Very terribly, I might add. Come on, he's right there. Just shoot. Ugh, whatever. She's like whipping me and shit, and I hate it. There's a betting shop to rob as well, and I guess Catalina isn't into us. From now on, we just business partners. Woohoo! I, I mean, uh, oh, if that's what you want. 
Finally, there's a small town bank to rob, and out the back door we go, evading cops until we're back at Catalina's hideout. And hopefully, never have to talk to her again. Jeez, it's like making friends with a lion. Or a Minecraft YouTuber. Caesar's got the need for speed. Wrong game, but good try, buddy. And we'll be racing for money. Woozy Moo is one such racer here, and something's off about him. I can't quite put my finger on it. <clears throat> okay, it's racing time, and that's no trouble at all. Easy racing one, Woozy's in the city San Fierro, and if we're ever there, we'll give him a call. Oh, fuck! Why are you even here, Catalina? Also, yes, this is Claude from GTA 3, and yes, obviously Catalina's from GTA 3 as well. I told you these games were connected, but Catalina doesn't give us money for winning. Rather, the deed to a garage in San Fierro. A quick stop at the Truce Farm is... There's a police chopper, but the cops won't arrive for a while, so we need to burn all his weed crops. And, oh, I don't feel too good, man. I feel like I'm seeing shit. Yo, man, thanks for this. This is pretty cool. <sighs> okay. I think I'm cool to drive, baby. It's a one-way stop to San Fierro to check out the cool garage. What the fuck? This blows. In more ways than one, actually. I don't know what happens, but I don't have the footage after this part. It's just not on my computer. So either I accidentally deleted it, or I never recorded it in the first place. <sighs> so let's do this all over again. I got a haircut, I did some spray painting, I killed a guy, I killed more guys, I shot some bottles, I did a drive-by, OG looks gay and there's nothing wrong with that, dancing baby, stole a rhyme book, killed a man, I still not going out with you Denise, killed some ballas, I'm killing a lot of people, low, ra, der, kill, steal, kill, steal, race, kill, 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 hey we're back, Jesus dude, looks like you've been fed a bummer. A few of Truth's friends around the city are gonna help us with this garage, cause man, it's awful. In fact, Crash knows we're here too, and they'll want us to plant some drugs in a district attorney's car. I don't want to get an actual valet uniform, so I'ma kill ya, and I'ma take a job too. The DA's framed, and the construction workers next door have been catcalling our sister. So we're gonna teach him a lesson. First the trailers, and the foreman's locked himself in a porta potty. <laughs> I know a funny prank. Let's tip that into this hole, and to finish it off, I'm gonna bury him in cement. One of Truth's friends, Jethro, says our driving's whack, and we need to go to a driving school to get better, I guess. And it's full of useful tips, like burnout, sliding on two wheels, taking out cops, and a race you can't stop for any reason, but as long as you get a bronze medal or higher, I have completed driving school. Caesar's been poking around, and he has a lead to someone supplying crack to Smoke and Ryder. We'll do a little bit of a stakeout and photograph everyone we see. First is Ryder. We know him. Second is T-Bone Mendez. Third is some white guy. And a fourth a pimp. We got what we needed. Caesar, Where are you going? Motherfucker left me all the way out here! So while I was driving back, Caesar and Woozy were talking. No idea who the man in the suit is, but the pimp is... Uh, Jizzy B. Yeah. The plan is to get nice and close with him and his friends. I'm offering my services. And we're gonna help his prostitutes offer their cervixes. Pimpering all over to a final climax <laughs> of killing a hypocritical preacher and the hoe he was with. Boom. It's clear this group isn't tight-knit as you would believe. A truck full of yay has been poached, and it's our job to seal it back. The same is true for a man named Mike, who we free at the airport. Who the fuck is this? Hey, that's James Woods, known for the Holocaust. We know who we're dealing with now, and while we wait for our next job, we can go talk to Woozy. Uh, you know of the boss's curse? Nah. He's blind. Wait, what? Yeah, Woozy's blind. But apparently he has really good luck. He's also... Or Big Big Brother, if you speak American. He has a meeting with the Bloodfeather Triad. But as we arrive, we found out the whole triad's been wiped out by the Vietnamese. Yeah, I don't know what's going on here. Lots of words, I don't speak them. But they want a package, and it's in the form of a car. And it's an ambush. I don't know, man. This guy is real important, or something. I still don't know. But those Da Nang boys want his head too. So we'll lead them out of the city in a car that they think the important man is in even though he didn't get in. And great, now I gotta drive all the way back. Jizzy gives us a call. He's got another job for us, blowing up roadblocks. But the fun's cut short when we drop by the garage. I wonder how your brother's sleeping, curled up next to his shower daddy while you lived comfortably on the outside. A journalist has been poking around crashing their antics, so we gotta go chase him down. Both him and any witnesses. Dude, I'm getting real sick of driving all the way back to San Fierro every time. So sick, I don't even care. I'm killing Jizzy. And Caesar lends me his silenced pistol to pick him off real quiet-like. And if that was the case, why did I sneak in from the rooftop just to confront him with it? This isn't covert in the slightest. But I got his phone. Now we know the other three are making a deal on Pier 69. <laughs> nice. The triads are gonna help us on the rooftops, but right now we need to help them with our sniper. Ryder and T-Bone turn up by car, but Torino's in a helicopter. He can see the bodies on the roof and doesn't think twice before retreating. Together, we kill Mendez, but Ryder... 
He's mine. He sold out everybody. Sweet, the Grove, and me. It's the end of the line, Ryder. Arrivederci. Woozy's got a tip off on Torino's location. We're not fast enough to get him on foot, but that doesn't mean we can't kill him. Just a little RPG on the highway, and there's no way Torino survived that. David Cross is a name you've probably heard, and he voices Zero, who I guess has really hard missions. We start by buying his store. He's moping about, and Berkeley is back. Oh, Berkeley. Yes. Who the fuck is Berkeley? Everything about this man is toy soldier playtime, except for the guns. This nerd has a minigun for destroying RC planes. Sound broken like two seconds. It's not supposed to sound like this, but we'll go with it. And in the infamous supply lines mission, we kill a bunch of paper route couriers. This all culminates in a final, what the fuck, race to his base. Jeez. I can't swim. At least not good enough for Woozy. So I gotta go to the beach and slowly hold my breath. After 15 minutes of just doing this, I can continue actually playing the game. I, um, I'm blind. No shit! Tonight we're planting a bug on this cargo ship, and only surfacing when we need air. I almost died to a shanking, but the bug is planted, and I can return to the coast. On another cargo ship, the Don Nong boys have arrived to San Fierro, but our attempts to kill them are cut short when they take out our helicopter. We lost all our guns, and all these people are gonna die one way or another. I freed some refugees, and at the helm of the ship is the Snakehead, who wants to fight in katana on katana action. Okay. I win. Our former friends have a factory nearby. Woozy has a plan to rig a car with an explosive, drive it into the factory, then boom. There's one final job for the San Fierro garage, and after some property bought, we're gonna steal some cars to try and pawn off. The first is this woman's car, and honestly, what the actual hell? The whole point is to spin her out of control, so she leaves the car and I can take it. And if that's the point, why does she hit something every time I get near her? And I can't just box her in either. I chased her for about 10 minutes, and just as I thought I finally got her to stop? Oh, fuck yeah. That's awesome. And when I did it again, I spun her out almost instantly. Stupid ass mission. Caesar spotted a showroom on the coast, and these cars got nitrous oxide, baby. I'm feeling the need for speed, and we're most wanted, all right. The cops try to stop our escapades, but they can't keep up, and the cars are all ours. Someone wants a certain car from us, and there happens to be one in a container down by the docks. It's trial and error to find it, but we eventually steal it. This also opens up the import list that we need to 100% later. One final car, and the driver doesn't want to stop for anything. So we plant stingers on the back of our car, and it's safe to say that San Fierro is finished. <laughs> on the edge of the dunes is a ranch. James, stop. I know that's you. So it's a test, I guess, for our use in a monster truck or something. I passed kinda. Mike Torino is a fed, and as much as I hate those things, he wants me, so there's not really an option. With Caesar's help, we steal a tanker, and I don't know how that's fitting in the garage. Sweet's just fine. He gets touched. A prison guard goes home and finds that his wife and kid have been murdered. Oh, Torino, you're good. Now you really got me working for the fed. Wait, agency helicopters, you say? <laughs> I'm going to enjoy this. Fuck! <clears throat> I collected the contraband that was on that heli. It says Hitler killed himself, and then we nuked Japan. And people believe this shit. Well, I don't know about Japan. I'm pretty sure that's a country. But Hitler's gotta be alive. Probably on an island somewhere. Speaking of travel, we need our pilot's license. And we'll buy an abandoned airstrip. It's similar to the driving school, but in the air. We also get to blow shit up with an Apache and skydive. Now this shit's scary. On my plane is a drop for one of Torino's clients. The only problem is, I gotta fly real close to the ground so I don't get caught. And I mean real close. It doesn't help that trees also just appear out of fucking nowhere. Now I don't know why these feds are on our airstrip, and Torino doesn't know either. Oh, and here's a catch. He wants me to drive a bike onto this plane, and fight all these agents without using firearms, use a satchel charge, and of course... Fuck yeah. Truce back. And look, man, I don't like the Fed any more than you do. In fact, let's do something extra naughty. At the gates of Area 69, <laughs> nice, we're here to seal what Truth calls the Black Project. To my knowledge, this mission can be fully stealthed, but I'm definitely not smart or lucky enough to figure out how. And if you do use stealth, then you can't use this minigun. And who doesn't love miniguns? The Black Project's actually a usable jetpack that we can fly right back to our airstrip. Now that it's ours, we can collect it from here whenever we want. Whoa, 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 Truth, what are you, a drone? This is a fail army. You better let me use it, and to the city we go, heisting some military train for a thing of green goo. I guess he really likes Nickelodeon. And to the Las Venturas strip we go, full of vices and gambling, which is a vice, and Woozy has opened his own casino here. There's a big time mob problem, and we don't know what families. We have a member of one who's strapped to the hood of this car, so let's see if we can't get some information out of him. Oh, fuck. Oh no. 
Hang on. I got it. I got it. Uh, just give me a second. Ah, okay. Scareometer, high speeds, and near misses. The family will make you pay for this. Which family? The Zendaco family, you idiot. <laughs> well, we have our name. Hey, oh, what's this? You can't move the cup for him. CJ wants to stick it right to the Sendakos. A whole casino heist and everything. What the? The first set of equipment is at the quarry. They're using dynamite to mine, but not today. That stuff's mine. And I have to find my own way out of the mine with security blocking the exit like that. Here's a TNT, man. Don't blow yourself up, because I don't want to go repeat the mission again. Damn. You're bad luck for me, you know? When I play the other guys, I always win. <laughs> oh, yeah, it was I'm the problem. The Sendakos this time are making counterfeit chips to fuck up our casino. And everyone at this plastics warehouse is done for, as well as all the machines. I hope you didn't forget about Truth. <laughs> Man, how could you? His friends Paul and Maka are out in the dunes coming down from their high. Man, I fucking hate these people. Mainly Macca, who's got... Rosie's a man! And stop touching yourself! Issues. If it were up to me, I'd fucking neuter him like a dog. To the Caligula Casino we go to see the one and only Ken Rosenberg from Vice City. He still has ins with the Mafias. A hit is placed out on a big Sendako name by the rival mob the Ferellis. And also doesn't help that he's in a coma. We gotta save his ass and drop him off at a meat factory. I guess it's their hideout. <laughs> Baby, I'm back! Yeah, that's right, Ken. You clipped through that fucking table. He needs to talk to Johnny back at that factory. Wait a minute. Weren't you my hood ornament? It's fucking him. It's him. Oh, God. It's him. It oh! Uh oh. So that was Johnny Sendako, the son of the Don of the crime family, whose preferred vehicle choice is wheelchair. And now the whole crime family's after us. That's all right. I've killed hundreds of people already. I will be taking the body armor in this freezer, though. You fucked up with the wrong guy. I'm crazy, motherfucker. I'm fucking crazy. Welcome to America, asshole. What the fuck? That's a new one. Uh, uh, never mind. Fuck freezers. Drink your popsicles, salt your meat, and never fuck with Carl Johnson. Well, isn't this a sight for sore eyes? Everything we did in Los Santos, to Mad Dog specifically, drove this man all the way out here. And if we don't do something, this man's gonna kill himself. Out of my way, citizen. I need to save a life. Um, uh, um, uh, hmm. Ooh, jeez. I hope he's gonna be alright. Alright, I'll sign a contract that I didn't read. So, what did I just sign, Woozy? Um, okay. Salvatore's here, and if you haven't played GTA 3, you might be lost at who this guy is. Yeah, I don't know who this guy is. Apparently, CJ worked for his son before the time of this game. The Ferrelli sent out a hit on the boss, so it's our job to hijack their plane. And man, is this just old GTA in a nutshell. By now, you've probably noticed a problematic icon on the minimap. Looks like Crash still needs us. A full-on dossier against these bastards that we have to steal. Which is pretty easy if you just sneak up on the guy and don't take Rockstar's intended path. Now we need to deliver the dossier? I mean, brother, your car is floating. Uh, our boy's done good. Oh! You snitch piece of shit! You vato asshole! You sold us out! Either Hernandez sold them out, or Tenpenny's getting antsy. Either way, he leaves Pulaski here to finish us off. And with the same shovel, we dig Hernandez's grave. And ours too. Shut the fuck up, scum! And it's Officer Pulaski to you! Fucking die! Okay, I lied. He's actually dead now, though. But Officer Pulaski tries to make an escape. We'll never get a better opportunity to end him. All the barbs and insults he can throw at us as well. First, I blow up his car, and then run his ass over. He magically fixed his car just for this scene. Any last requests? Yeah. <laughs> Can I fuck your sister? You an asshole to the end. Punk motherfucker. Leon needs another hit on the Ferrellis in Liberty City. This is a perfect opportunity to get Rosenberg and the Brits out of here. They're out of Las Venturas, so it's to the airport to fly a plane to St. Mark's Bistro, which is an area you go to in GTA 3, by the way. And the charity of San Andreas shows, because I can shoot him right through this wall. I'm hitting him. Good boy, good boy. Don't, don't call me that. The little man, because he's packing the six shooter. Um, men! Okay. Mad Dog sold that mansion we broke into so long ago to a drug dealer, Big Papa. We'll seize it back, but then that mansion's ours too. In the hills of Vinewood, we parachute down to the helipad on the roof. And there's lots of enemies to kill, and a lot of rooms to clear as well. Big Papa's making a run for it. We just missed him, so it's a car chase and a drive-by to take back Mad Dog's mansion. Hey CJ, what's up with you? Are we doing this heist or have you gone soft on me again? Alright you blind motherfucker, I'm coming! How'd you even call me if you can't see anyways? To plan the heist of the Caligula Casino, we need the floor plans and a camera to take a picture of it. <laughs> but why buy a damn camera when you can just kill a tourist for one? I also can't legally take a picture of the plans, so we'll cause a fire and snap a picture while the guards are distracted. 
but you gotta see this. Whoa, fuck that. Look at the door. To get into the casino vault, we need a key card. And this girl might be the weak link we need. After a shift, we creepily follow her into a sex shop. And I'm gonna enjoy censoring this. I honestly don't know what I can show and what I can't. I'll collect a gym suit and it's more following. There's a secret man coming to do the tube snake boogie oogie. So we gotta figure out the creep with the... Oh no. Oh jeez, I don't know, this is too much. We're not close enough to Millie, and just as I thought I can go on a date with her, she looks at my lack of muscles and says, Nah, I gotta go down to one of those gyms and get swole enough that she talks to me. I've never felt something so real in a GTA game. Alright, I think we're looking pretty good. At least Millie sure thinks so. We go to bars and stuff, but really I'm getting back into the gym suit so I don't have to bother. Key card collected and I'm gonna work on my skills. If you steal a police vehicle, you could start a vigilante mission. All you do is kill targeted criminals in progressive levels that get harder. And you will die fast to these long-range shotguns. Ugh. So instead, I'll steal an ambulance that has a very similar mission. 12 levels of collecting people and driving them to the nearest hospital. After level 12, you are rewarded with your maximum amount of health. If you steal a fire truck, it's the exact same. Extinguishing car fires and... Oh, um... How do I get that? Um... Okay, I guess I failed. So don't fail. 12 levels done, I will never get caught on fire again. In certain ammunitions, there are fire ranges. There's someone to your left, and there's someone on your right. The whole goal is to shoot each one of these targets faster than your competitors. On the third round, there's only one target that we all share. Hit 20 targets and you win. The reward is a sweet RPG mechanic of a Hitman level with the gun. The first two are pistol and SMG. This Hitman level lets you dual wield the guns. The shotgun will shoot faster and you can move while ADSing. And same goes for the AK-47. Now finally, I'll go back to the Vigilante mission and, and the reward for the go. 12 levels is a 50% increase on your body armor. Uh, what an ordeal. Okay, I think I'm ready to plan out this heist. In order to get our crew into the casino vault, we'll have to shut off the power. But it's never that simple. We're going to the freaking Hoover Dam and placing satchel charges on each one of these turbines. Which I can actually stealth. Are you proud of me? Probably not. Next is healing some police bikes we'll use for the getaway. There's four around the city, and let's get those into storage. Oh, oh, we'll also need a sky crane, and I'm gonna steal it right from the US military. Right after that, I'm gonna use it to steal an armored truck too for that getaway. All right, gang, suit up. I'll see you at the back door. I don't have a lot of time. Only four minutes, baby. First, we get through to the back offices, then down to the generator room. The poison gas we brought is thrown through the ventilation, and the guards are incapacitated. Ah! Okay, viewer, good luck to you. I need these night vision goggles on, and I know it hurts to look at, but I'm gonna do my best to make this look as viewable as possible. Now that the power's gone, I can use this forklift to raise the roller door and let the rest of the crew in. The security's on to us. Time to use that training and make our way to the vault. Boys, get that vault open. Oh no. Zero, I don't have time for this. Those backup generators gotta go, and the vault doors are open. Zero, what's happening? Berkeley? I should have known. Ever since he wedged you in your office, I knew he had it out for us. And now he's found the perfect time to strike back. I'll keep my team protected no matter what. After they load up in the armored truck, I'm gonna keep the heat off of them. I'm the distraction, and there's more mafiosos on the way to the elevator. All the way on top of the roof is a parachute they left me. Excuse me, SWAT team. I'm gonna need that helicopter now. Back to our airship to lay low, and back to our casino to count the dough. Thank you, Mr. Leon, for the cash. I think it's time for me to buy some new threads. While I was out planning a heist, Mad Dog and the crew have been putting together a new record. The equipment stops working, or so he thought, as Torino comes through the speakers. Finally, I thought I'd never get through to you. Or something. James Woods and I take a scenic drive back to San Fierro. What's this all about, man? Would you like to see your brother this week? Yeah, what can I do? Keeping with the spirit of stealing from our government, I get to sneak onto a boat and steal a vertical takeoff and landing jet. With this, I could blow up some spy planes in a harbor, and I get to keep the jet. Let's go! Back to the mansion, Torino's got one final job for us to do. The phone rings, and I pick it up. Hello? Carl, sweet, sweet. Oh, sweet. I don't know what happened. They just released me. All right, you hold tight. I'll be right there. So what was that little job you was talking about, Torino? I just want you to go pick up your brother. Get out of here. Well, thanks, Torino. I hope I don't ever see you around again. The long drive seems longer with the thought of seeing our brother again. A lot has happened. What's up, bro? <laughs> hey, what's up, man? Hey, man, we off to our new spot. We got a mansion, sweet. Hey, man, let me get you some new clothes. Come on. New clothes? Nigga, what the fuck is this bullshit? You never did get it, did you, Carl? I need to go check on things in the hood. 
Look, sweet, things are fucked up back at the Grove. Ryder's dead, Big Smoke sold us out, and we haven't been there in a while. All that's left are dope pushers and ballas. But you can stay here if you want, and we'll take the hood back for you too. But I guess Sweet's fallen through the cracks, just like the old gang did. And we'll have a nice chat with Beat Up, who isn't in his usual spot, but in Glen Park. A gang war just the same as when we started them, and into Beat Up's place. Say some. Hey, hey, nah, I ain't no choice, I was threatened. He takes orders from Big Smoke, but he doesn't know where he is. Sweet's still on this Grove Street for life shit, so more gang wars and taking back territory. And OG Loke, if you remember him, is on the TV shooting his next video. Mad Dog knows those rhymes are from this book we stole, so we're gonna pay a little visit to the little man. It's Goofy to the max, chasing him in wacky vehicles in a go-kart chase to his studio. Rhyme book secured, it's a win for Mad Dog. Excuse me, gangster. I don't think so. A court case against Crash is broadcasted on live TV. I've been charged with racketeering, corruption, narcotics, and sexual assault. They brought it on themselves. I say 20 years. Try five years. Cops always get off easy. Yeah, I heard that. Lost the lack of evidence against my client. The district attorney's office has seen fit to drop all charges what? against this innocent man. That's bullshit. Los Santos will burn tonight. Seeing as San Andreas takes place in 1992, this is the in-game parallel to the LA riot that happened in the same year. Obviously, since I was born 10 years later, I don't have a reference to this, but it's quite the controversy for the game. But I don't know anything about it, so look at this cool shit. Buildings are on fire and there's people walking around with stolen TVs. People are extra violent towards others, especially the police officers. While Sweet makes sure the grow's okay during these riots, Caesar needs our help with his gang, and with some help of his amigos, we get to take back his hood, but one of his homies, Hazer, has been hit. They're coming over the wall! <laughs> <laughs> Back at the Grove, uh, you need to take over more gang tories around Los Santos. Oh, come on, it's the last mission. I have to grind a bunch of these gang wars just to proceed? I don't even know why I have to. I don't know what it provides to the mission. Apparently, doing this reveals Smoke's location. All right, sweet. It's time for Smoke. Look, I know you down for this, but I gotta go in there alone. What? Which is stupid. Always ask for help. Don't let pride get in the way. Well, we need a way into Smoke's crack den. I'll steal a SWAT van around the corner, and I'll bust right through the front door. Floor 1, the security area. All it is, is a warehouse. Floor 2, drug lab. I don't see any drugs, just a few generators. Floor 3 is a ballist lounge with strippers that don't stop for nothing. Oh, she don't stop for nothing. And floor 4, Smoke old buddy. Wearing your fucking hey, bib. Look at you. No regrets, no worries, no cares. Like a psychopath. It's so easy for you to step on everyone in your path to success. You made it, Smoke. But your one mistake, the one little loose end you couldn't handle, was me. I'm not taking damage. I don't know why he's not doing damage to me. He does not hit. Okay. Why didn't you just quit, man? We was like family. I had no choice. I had to do it. When I'm gone, everyone gonna remember my name. Big smoke. Oh. <sighs> <sighs> Damn, man. What a waste. Ten penny, you corrupt fuck. If killing smoke was any kind of solace, this man knows how to make his entrance. The only man I couldn't deal with. The man just always knows how to get ahead of me. Oh, I almost forgot, Carl. Time to die. Uh, sweet! What? Mother... It ain't over, Carl. It ain't over. Officer Tenpenny causes a fire in the building. But those fire truck missions I did earlier means I don't gotta worry about the fire. The same fire that isn't lighting the area, which is what fire does, but not here. A fast escape and the building's completely destroyed. But no time. We gotta make sure Sweet doesn't get himself killed. I caught him just in time. Hell, the police, the Vagos are after us with fire bombs thrown all to stop us from catching up to Tenpenny. Right on the bridge over Grove Street, the fire truck loses control. And Tenpenny is sent hurling to the ground. Come on, assholes! <coughs> I'll take you all! Assholes! You never understood what I did! I took the trash out! I did! <coughs> Don't. Don't do it, man. He's gone. I just want to be sure it's over, man. That's all. It's cool. No need to put a bullet in it. I'm just glad it's finally over. What's up with smoke? You know what's up with Smoke. He always saw things a little different than us. Let's go get something to eat. Sounds good to me. See you around, officer.
There's a little meeting back at mom's house. We still got problems everywhere. And Mad Dog's got an announcement. My, I mean, our first gold record! Carl, where are you off to now? Well, I'm done, Kendall. All that's left is the 100%. But this time, I think I need to make it a little interesting. Welcome to San Andreas with every mission complete I'll off the motherfuckers and even free of my brother sweet Hernandez, Pulaski, and Tenpenny off the streets Motherfuckers can't stop me There's 24 different tasks off the bat in Los Santos A track race one wasn't even close Gotta lift the weights and work the punches that I'll throw And I'll grow, learning new moves I gotta know More missions in a cab for the street fair Twelve time pippin' fools undressing down into their wares A hundred different tasks, shit these rags With the hops like these, everybody knows I chase the best in the country, go to Chiliad Racing fools, better pray they don't make me mad And the truck emissions, they all blend to one Start to finish, just driving in the big ton We're talking big, so let's get in the train Driving forward, that's all for the monetary gain Blood bowling in a two-door and SMG And driving through the rings on a bike, I'll be in a G Through the streets and take the snapshots That lay the cars into the parking lots Don't forget the schools, biking and boating On the river or the streets, got me gloating as I take the win and both kick starting dirt track Corey missions fuck me up but I'm about to crack that And Corey emissions what a nice addition Horseshoes found to help with my gambling addiction Don't get me started with the many different races First time difficulty on my way to finish A long list of cars in an import list Three times I'm pissed why this got to exist Every single way you look there's a safe house Gotta buy the mall till I'm broke in the bank account Just one final thing what I got on the list Oysters in the water but there's one I fucking miss I looked for hours till I found it, got the 100% 40 hours was the time, a time well spent So I'm all the way in the edit right now, but I guess I should probably tell you what you get when you want 100% Right, so you get a million dollars, that's pretty cool Um, you get infinite ammo for all your weapons, but you also still have to like pick up the weapons, so it's not the best you get a VTOL on Sweet's house, which is fun to play with, and you also get a tank under the bridge. Honestly, compared to a lot of other things, it's pretty lackluster, but you know what? At least I can say I did it. Thank you so much for watching, and I think next time I need to return back to my roots.